Here's how you can get third-party plugins working with LV1. So what we're going to do is take Signal from the LV1 console to a separate host computer, which is going to run the third-party plugin, and then we're going to return that Signal back to the desk using an external insert. So what we're going to do is add an external insert. You can do this within the plugin page. We're going to send that Signal to our host computer over channel 40, and we're going to return it over channel 40. Then over on our host computer, we're going to take in channel 40, and we're going to spit out channel 40. So once you have that running, you should see Signal passing through SuperRack Performer and back to LV1. And after that, it's really cool because you can move this insert around like you would a plugin. So if you want to move that up or down your chain, you can do that. You can also move it between racks. It's important to know that if you want to do this at the lowest possible latency with the highest level of resiliency, I strongly recommend using a dedicated SoundGrid to MADI or SoundGrid to Dante interface as well as a dedicated MADI or Dante interface on your host computer. If you're looking to get the lowest possible latency, I recommend running the buffer size as low as possible, but if you need an additional headroom for your CPU or you can afford additional latency, run your buffer at a slower 128, 192, or 256. If you're having a hard time seeing all of your plugins in SuperRack, it's important to know that there's two different places you can scan for plugins. Number one, within the setup page, you can go to plugins and hit scan. This will only scan for Waves plugins. But if you want to scan for third party plugins, go up to the top left corner and hit the drop down menu. Go all the way down to the bottom. You'll see a column that says VST3, and you can hit scan plugins right there. After that, you should be able to see third party plugins show up under the VST3 plugin slot.